Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix USB drive not showing up or not recognized in Windows 10. Before we start, hurry up and check out the latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for us to actually fix this problem, we need to visit the following uh, things first. So first is going to be disk management. So in this case, at the bottom left here, you want to go and type in disk management here. Click on create and format hard disk partitions. Now, the most of the time, the problem for you not being able to access your USB drive here is because it's actually missing a uh, specific uh, type of letter. So in this case, you want to go to the disk that you have right now. So currently, I have this removable disk that I don't see in my PC. So you'll know it's actually a USB if you see a removable in here. Now, in this case, if you do not see removable or just you see you just see basic here, do not access that. That might be your Windows installation or some additional hard drive that you have on your PC. But for now, let's go ahead and go to removal and you want to right click on it and you want to go and click on change drive letter and pat. Let's go and click on add here and you want to go ahead and basically assign the letter. So for example, I want to, go, I want to actually assign this to G. Let's go and click on OK. It's going to say, please choose what happened next with the removal device. Now in this case, it means that we can now access or start accessing our removal device. So in this case, let's go and open up a folder here. As you can see right now, we now have that drive in here. So yeah. So in this case, the next thing that you want to do here is to basically adjust a few things on your device manager. So in this case, at the bottom left, you want to go and click on device. You want to go and click on device manager. And from here, you want to go ahead and basically scroll down a bit in here because we'll be looking for universal bus controller. It's going to be at the very bottom here. But once you see it, go and open it up. And from here, you are going to look for USB mass storage device. Now, in this case, you want to actually right click on it. So you might only have one of it. So in this case, go and click on uninstall, click on uninstall. You could go ahead and do the same thing for the other one here. But in this case, it's going to do that. It's going to click uninstall device, click on uninstall. But once you've done that, you could go ahead and go to the very top here. And you want to go to action and you want to go and click on scan for hardware changes. So in this case, that would actually reinstall those uh, drive or in this case, uh, those um, apps or in this case, the applications that actually manage your USB. So in this case, when we go to the very bottom again and look for it, as you can see, it is now back here. We just reinstalled it again. Now, the next thing that you want to do here, if that doesn't work, is you want to edit your plan settings. In this case, you want to go ahead and open up your settings and you just want to type in the following, which is going to be your plan settings. Or you, let's just say, uh, let's just say, or we just want to type in power settings. Go ahead and open up power and sleep settings here. You want to scroll down a bit here, click on additional power settings. I want to go to change when the computer sleeps at the left panel here and you want to go ahead and click on change advanced power settings. Now go ahead and slow, scroll down a bit here, look for USB settings, open it up, open up USB selective suspend settings. And in this case, you want to go ahead and make sure that this is actually enabled. So in this case, go ahead and click on enable. Okay. Okay, by the way, you might also see a different option for you. So you might see on battery or plugged in options. So if you do see that, make sure to actually enable those two settings in there. But in this case, once you've done that, you should be able to fix the problem itself. Also, alternatively, if you already have it enabled, you might want to also turn it off for a bit. So just try turning off or just clicking on the disabled option here. And once you've done that, go and click on apply. Okay, and once you've done that, that should fix your problem. And that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.